Hello everyone, my name is Tony Dixon and this is Photography in 5, where I'm going to give you advice, tips, and tricks to help you improve your photography all in under 5 minutes. Today we're going to talk about f-stops. F-stop. Stop. F. Does that mean I can't say the F word? So let me tell you a little bit about myself before we get started. I've always kind of had an interest in photography and uh, about two years ago I picked up a Kodak point and shoot. Eh, it was okay, but it, it got me wanting to do more. So about six months after that, I got a DSLR. Once I got that, I realized I didn't know shit about photography. So naturally, in this day and age, I turned to the web, mostly YouTube, to try to teach myself photography. And uh, I had never taken to anything like I did photography. I really jumped on it, and it soaked in, and I learned it fast. So about a year ago, I decided to uh, start a portrait photography business, and it's been growing ever since. So I've kind of decided I want to give back to YouTube and, and give the knowledge that I gained from YouTube back to other people that are trying to learn photography. So that's why I'm starting this, this show. So today we're going to talk about f-stops, like I said. Technically, an f-stop is a mathematical equation that has to do with the distance from the focusing plane of your lens to the film or your sensor of your camera versus the opening of the aperture, which is what lets light through your lens. Now, there's two ways that I think help people understand this a little bit better. Uh, the first one's more technical, and it kind of goes off the basis of it, just breaks it down a little bit. If you replace the F with a 1, it makes, and turn those into fractions, it makes a little bit more sense. So if you have 1 over 22, 1 22nd, instead of F22, versus 1 over 4, which would be a quarter, you know, 1 fourth instead of F4, that's the amount of light coming through your lens. So F4 is letting a quarter of a fully open aperture come through versus F22, which is like a 22nd of a fully open aperture. So even though it's counterintuitive, the larger the number, the smaller the amount of light is going to be coming through your lens. Now, another way to think about this is what do you want to be in focus? Are you taking a picture of like a single flower? And that's the only thing you want in focus? Well, if that's the case, you want your aperture, your f-stop, to be closer to 1 over 1 than you do anything else. So like f2.8, you know, f4, something like that. Now, if you're shooting landscaping, you want everything from the rocks in front of you to the mountains in the distance to be in focus, then you're going to want to use a larger number, smaller opening, to allow the light to come in and get all that in focus. So to recap that, the more you want in focus, the, you want, the larger you want your F number. To me, that's more intuitive than the actual technical description of it. So just remember, how much do I want in focus? What equals what F stop to use? I hope that was helpful. I hope that makes sense. Leave any comments or questions down below, and I will see you on the next episode of Photography in 5.